Welcome. Gurukul Public School. Today's lesson is for Class 5, Subject Science, Chapter 2, The Skeletal System. Backbone or vertebral column or spine. The skull is attached to the backbone. It is a long, bony structure that provides support to the body. The human vertebral column is made up of 33 small bones called vertebrae, singular, vertebra. These vertebrae are stacked, piled, onto each other with the support of intervertebral discs. The backbone has movable joints that help to bend and twist easily. The backbone protects the delicate spinal cord. Spinal cord. Spinal cord is a vital part of our nervous system. Rib cage. The rib cage is an arrangement of bones present within the chest region. It consists of 24 ribs, two sets of 12 ribs, attached to a long and flat bone in the center of the chest, known as sternum. The first 10 pairs of ribs are attached to the sternum in front and backbone at the back. The last two pairs of ribs are called floating ribs as they are not attached to the sternum. These 24 bones form a protective cage that protects the internal organs, like heart and lungs. Upper limbs and shoulder girdles. There are two collar bones and two shoulder bone forming the shoulder girdle. The shoulder girdle joints the upper limbs to the spine. Each arm consists of one upper arm bone and two lower arm bones. There are eight bones in the wrist. The palm of each hand is made up of five bones and fourteen bones make up the fingers of a hand. The upper arm bone is called humerus and is jointed to the two bones of the lower arm at the elbow. Hip girdle. The hip girdle is made up of three bones fused to form a single bone. There are two hip bones, girdles. The two hip bones connect the spine with the lower limbs.
lower limbs. Each leg has one thigh bone, one kneecap, two other bones one of which is called shin bone. The shin bone is the largest and the strongest of the two bones, and connects the knee with the ankle bones. The kneecap is a thick, round bone which you can fell on your knee. It protects our knee joint from getting hurt, damaged. Lower limbs. There are seven bones in each ankle and nineteen bones in each foot. Look at the figure. Bone marrow. The long bones are hollow and are filled with bone marrow, a spongy tissue inside some of the bones in the body, including the hip and thigh bones. Bone marrow is the site of formation of new blood cells. It produces red blood cells, RBCs. Functions of skeleton. The skeleton gives the body its shape, which changes with growth. The skeleton provides support to the body. It allows movement of the body. The skeleton protects the delicate internal organs from getting hurt. Larger bones contain bone marrow which produces red blood cells, RBCs. The bones of the skeleton also store the mineral, calcium. Functions of skull. It gives shape to the face. It provides protection to the brain, eyes, tongue and inner, ears. It provides sockets for the eyes. The teeth presence in the upper and lower jaws help in cutting and chewing the food. Functions of backbone or vertebral column or spine. It helps us to stand upright, bend and twist. It provides the main support of our body. It protects the spinal cord present inside the hollow of the vertebral column. Functions of rib cage. It protects the delicate heart and lungs. It plays an important role in respiration as it allows the lungs to expand and contract freely during breathing. Functions of girdles. They allow free movement of our arms and legs. Provide attachment for a number of muscles and ligaments used in locomotion.